Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again or for the very first time to the Farts and Crep Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 18, I believe, of Tears of the Kingdom, my four heart run. Mm, hope you guys are all doing well today. Just had a little bit of a snack. Still, um, working on a sparkling water here. It's a little lemon lime effervescence. Mmm, that is good. Mmm. And, uh, yeah, on today's episode, we are going to be getting the best armor set in the game, I would say. So the first spot is right here. It's called uh, Crenel Hills Cave. So, um, kind of just pretty much directly northeast of Lookout Landing, across Hylia River, and, uh, up on this, like, almost the third, like, topographical tier, I guess. Um, it's pretty easy to spot from the outside, especially at night, because there were, um... Luminous stone, I think is what they call it. Luminous stone, yeah, deposits. Um, on either side of the cave entrance. So, I'm gonna go in here and mess up a talus, and then get the thing that we need. And gonna need some kind of hammer with a good amount of damage. So I'll start with this guy. But I did look it up. Um, where the different locations are, shouldn't you be? There you go. Come on, you're facing the wrong way, dude. take this with and I don't really have an extra weapon right now so I'm just gonna put it in the sturdy long stick should be pretty good I mean 25 that's like a little bit better than the black boko spear so And I'll be using this hammer to do the rest of this. And we're gonna have some bomb flowers in here, thankfully. Okay, about that. But uh yeah, hope you guys are all doing well today. Cause this is a little bit more effective. I know there's a few bomb flowers here and there, so I don't want to like just shoot them off all willy nilly. Because if I catch one in the blast, that would be a wasted bomb flower. Er, there we go. 
Down for the count or just down? It is down for the count. Alright, thank you. Don't really care about getting bubble gems, but still. I believe that's a bomb flower right there. Have I taken a picture of bomb flowers before? That's a bright cap. I think that's where the armor is, honestly. The next precious stone is over here. Oh, that's a bomb flower? That's a bomb flower. Ah, oh, come on. Can't take pictures while sliding down a mountain? What kind of adventurer are you, Link? <laughs> what kind of guy are you? Um... Spawned the rest of them. Oh, there we go. They are really just like driving that home and be like, yeah, use bone flowers. <laughs> I think that's all the deposits, except for this last obvious one. And yeah, Luminous Stone has a very special purpose, so don't sell it like you do in the first game. In Breath of the Wild, it's there's like one collector, but it's not even worth trading him. Luminous Stone, it's just like better to sell it. But yes, in this game, it actually does serve a special purpose. Which is pretty cool. Mean to hit that, whoops. And yes, of course, I'm talking about the barbarian armor. That's what we're doing. So I can go ahead and get rid of this one, because that's the first one, at least the fastest one to get to. But I've been to all the locations now, so I could easily mark them on the map, which is another reason I was like, yeah, I'm going to get all the map pieces, like, pretty much first. Um, I believe that's just a shrine. But yeah, one of the pieces is over here, just east of Hateno, like, literally the Hateno lab is right there. And then just, like, there's a little lake and a cave, like, to the east of the lake. Um... And the other piece is actually over here. Kind of like if you're on the way to Kakariko up here. Instead, you go east. And kind of down this valley. And there's a cave right there. That's where the other piece is. So. If that makes sense. I think we'll do the Hitena one first, to be honest, and yeah. Also, as far as the glide suit goes, I do really want to get the other piece. 
Um, and also now that I have the Zora's armor, I can finally go up here. Mm, but as far as... Okay, so we got that piece of the glide suit, because that's one of the diving ranges. We got the one... Did we not do the one up here? No, oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, and then the final one... I thought it was in north. I think the final one is north. I think it's up here, actually. Or maybe that's the one that's further north? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there was one, like, really north. So, probably from... Man, I don't know which one would actually be a better one to go from. Probably from the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower and then just go northwest. I would think. But anyway, that's not the focus right now. The focus right now is to get to other barbarian armor. So. Uh, the best way to get there from here is Probably just wait. Do we have no, not close enough anyway? All right, let's use the fast travel point for Hitano. Seems like the easiest way to do this. And thankfully, the fast travel in this game is not like Elden Ring, where if you're in a cave, you can't fast travel. Because I don't have many gripes when it comes to Elden Ring, but that's one of them. <laughs> I get why their approach to dungeons and level design and world design is just a little bit different, but uh, also we can get more stamina. Do I remember where the goddess statue is in this town? Hell no. But I do know where it is in Zora's domain. And there's one in Lookout Landing, like, really close to the fast travel point. And I kind of wanted to go back to Lookout Landing anyway, because I think we have enough uh, Korok seeds for some more upgrades. I don't know if uh, Hestu is still going to be there, but I would think so. Considering what's going on in Korok Forest, which we haven't been there yet. But I know what's going on in Korok Forest. I mean, anybody that played Breath of the Wild would already know, like, it's an important place in this game. Like, it kind of has to be, because that's where the Deku Tree was. Or is, sorry. Uh, yeah. How many do you need for shield? Two? That's not bad. Uh, bow? Five. Okay. Weapons? Eight? I mean, I don't go through shield as much. Obviously, the thing I go through the most, because I need different types, is the weapons. So yeah, one weapon upgrade, one shield upgrade. shouldn't have not skipped one of the Hestu dances. It's a fan favorite. I mean, who doesn't love the Hestu dance? It's impossible to not love the Hestu dance. Literally impossible. Dude, why'd you close the thing again? 
yeah. Open the thing. Oh. Yeah. Just leave it open. <laughs> you dingus. Oh, come on. You have to do this whole thing every time? Just let me skip this. You know, next time... There's, like, a lot of people down there, man. Like, why... I get that they probably have ventilation, but why keep it closed most of the time? There's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Oh wait, do you actually give me markers on my map for the the squad? Oh. Monster control crew, right? Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sorry, he's chatty guys. I'm just oh. gonna skip all this. Oh. Yeah, squads oh. on expeditions. Yeah, Haas's oh. squad. Okay, look at landing. Oh. Sorry, I'm just gonna take a picture of this. Uh-huh. And Torin. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Flaxel. Oh. Baron to the okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's easy. Okay. No, that's it. Thank you. Uh. Guess what I want right now, stamina. I, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Hundo Pacento. Because otherwise this game is too easy. You gotta do self-imposed challenges. Freaking Nintendo was like, well, maybe we should, you know, give them a difficulty setting. No, are you kidding? Fuck that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we have plenty of weapons right now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh. Where. Okay. Okay. How... How do we do that? Uh... Or... No, that can't be it. How do we do that? We need... Like, the only other islands that are nearby are kind of these ones. Sorry, I just haven't been to Kakariko yet, so... I mean, I know this one's just outside of Kakariko, but still. I guess here? Because I think what you're supposed to do is hit the waterfall from right here, and then bam. But if we can't do that, it is like shockingly close to one of the markers. So I'm going to go see how it's interconnected. I'm not really entirely sure what to expect there, but... And for some of these waterfalls that go like really, really far, it's... um They don't actually touch the ground. Like, they magically start in the sky, like, super, super high. So we need to go... Yep, actually in that direction. What? Oh, man, that felt great. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, but that is the direction we're going over there. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll just use this thing to get over there. And then... Okay, that's the waterfall. I just need to make sure to have the Zora armor equipped, which I do. Yeah, it goes way up there. That's not... No. It's just, yeah, it's really high up there. Maybe this one actually does touch the ground. Oops. There's a balloon. Ba woo! It's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, this one actually does touch the ground. <gasps> Shit, I heard that. One. Thank you. Stellanox. Ah, frickin' boss Bacoblin. Asshole. Alright. Um, I mean, I do have a better armor now for this kind of thing, so... I mean, it looks... and not great. You guys even worth fighting? Mm. I mean, I guess I could fight these guys. They're only blue bacoblins, but... of them didn't die. Lost the Coblin Guts, that's nice. Dude, you assholes, get off my shit. spawned. Alright. Uh, I guess use this thing now. I feel like there should have been more blue bacoblin horns. So wait, what can I pick up? Okay, a shield. Okay, let's just fuse this to another shield then. That'll work. Soldier shield shield. Uh, 
I haven't actually used this one yet, but it shouldn't be as good. I don't know why they're putting it above the other one. Weapons, I don't want either of these, because they both suck. In fact, I don't want this either, because it also sucks. Same reason. This is also shit, so... Drop that. Why do they all have, like, shitty soldiers' broadswords? They're dumbass pecoblins? Pretty bad. Oh wait, have I taken pictures of all these? I mean, you can barely tell what it is, but whatever, it counts. I mean, I don't really care about the compendium that much, but, you know, if it's there, I'll take a picture of it. If I'm like, you know, it's not a bad picture. I guess I'll take one of these soldiers' broadswords and just, uh, fuse a arm to it. It's gonna be brittle as hell, but whatever. And I guess I could use the other one for, like, chopping. Or just use it as a hammer, I guess, like, until it breaks. will be pretty quick. Okay, so where are we going? That waterfall, which was... Should be able to just look up. Behind this over here? I knew exactly where I was going, and then... This guy's distracted me. Where the hell is this thing? Okay, I should be able to tell on my map. It's a little bit left. There it is. Wow. Should have just kept rotating the camera. Oh, this will be better, right? Because it's a... Yeah, it's a boulder. Okay. So, destroy fuse material, and fuse with boulder. Can you guys just like, I don't know, go somewhere else, please? Just never use choo-choo jelly for like anything. So whenever they show up, they're just an annoyance. Basically, I forgot to switch my armor back. There we go. You're going incredibly fucking fast. That is like, oh, that's a fairy. 
Oh shit, I should have done this different. Right? Yeah, that's a fairy, totally. Okay, hold on. Just do it like this. Gotcha. What? Dude. Not cool. You know, I don't, I don't care. Shoot your stupid rockets all you want, man. Wait, where's the other fairy? I don't see it. They're always in groups of three. Did he scare off the fairy with his fucking rockets? No, right? Because animals don't usually respond to... Enemies. Ah, uh, okay. Look at me being all wrong and shit. Whoops. I think that's exactly what he did. I think he scared off the fairy with his bullshit rockets. An asshole. Oh, I'm gonna try something. Damn it. Alright, try that again. Damn it, try that again. Whoa, that was faster. Why was that faster? Whoa, dude. Ah, damn it. Doing it like a little too late. Got it. Oh, are you kidding? It doesn't reflect the rockets back? That's disappointing. Fuck, you piece of shit. Alright, I'm assuming you're supposed to use this platform to get to the... over there. So, what I'm gonna do is... <sighs> Ducks. Not the fish that you can't see. Can't get a picture of that dragon, can I? Oh, I can, wow. Even though it's just a shadow in the distance. All right. Too many things. Already bass? That you can't see, but whatever. <laughs> it's like, trust me, it's there. Is that a tireless frog? I mean, eventually, yes, I want to get the sneaky stuff so I can more easily, like, catch critters and animals and stuff like that. It is a tireless frog. Why? Grab it. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> and now it does the thing. Do I need to reload the game? Is it, like, <laughs> having issues over here? Still can't see it. I want the hardy bass, damn it. I think there's more than one. And that fish, wow. That fish was so scared. He just <laughs> basically set the food. <laughs> 
Hey, there we go. Down the depths, pointing to a thing that I haven't got yet. Cool. Down. Dizzity down with that. Oh. Hey, what was that? Oh, I didn't even see that. I saw like a name on screen for a second, but I didn't see what it was. Stupid ass fish. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can use the. Hold on. Now that I have the Zora helm, I think? You can do that. It'll stun the fish. And then you can just, like, pick them up. Or you can do that. <laughs> okay, so, um, we use one rocket to get over there and one to gain some elevation. I was gonna say, I hope that's okay, because, like, <laughs> the second there, it kind of looked like I needed both of them to get over there. Well, this whole puzzle is just to get to the top, basically. So, if I have other rockets, I could just use them to do this. Bypass the puzzle. Do I have other rockets? I mean, not really. I'll just do the puzzle. Fuck it. I don't remember what the steps are, but I <laughs> might have to start at the bottom anyway. Can't get up there. Mm. Yeah, that's supposed to be on. Is that a different thing? What is this? Is this just... yeah, don't go too far down. I feel like this one is not... Definitely a Korok, though. I mean, look at that. I feel like this is probably it, right? This is a very lucrative island to be in, so... Pull 
bullshit. It'll be fine. I don't think I've even found a dispenser that has rockets yet. I think glide speed also applies to paraglider speed. Maybe not. Oh, this is a really close dragon. Should I just say screw this? And no, because I don't have a. Fast travel point for here. Mm, this is really close. Not sure what you need exactly, and there's some like spoilers here. Mm -hmm. Should I go for it? It looks pretty close. It's close enough, yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know if I can even do this right now, and it's worth it to get rid of that. I mean, come on, this is pretty obviously something important. do I need? Do it. Do it anyway. Bullshit. Fuck. Damn it. Can I at least get back to the thing? You know what? No. That's not fair. I also don't want to go... <laughs> I don't have a fast travel point. <sighs> ah, sack of shit. Okay, it is stamina though, thankfully. Because in Breath of the Wild it was hearts. Which I was not a big fan of, but you know. Well, not Breath of the Wild, I love that game, but. The fact that it was hearts. It was close. I think it is two wheels. So. I'm not going to speak on the actual story element there yet, but. I mean, that is a better picture than the previous one. Oh, really? 
there nothing else up here? There's only a Korok up here, that's kind of strange. They got a laser grid of shit? It's not cool. Do I have the glide? I still have the glide suit. Whoa, shit. Oh, jeez. It's fine. Go for it! Oh, damn. Can't believe that worked. These are things that I use. Great. Really cool. Really, really cool and good. It's fine though. Uh, you know why? Is because where we are. Um, this place is the shit. And I'll tell you why. Well, I'll show you guys why. There's always, as long as there's been a blood moon recently, there's always Sonai equipment up here. Son of a bitch. It's not like I want these pictures anyway. Like... Uh, they get automatically added to the compendium. They should just ask, do you want to keep this picture? Or were you just taking it for the compendium? You, you know, it's like... Obviously there's a limit. Like a pretty hard limit. And shit, and there's like... The captures, duh. But I don't use the in-game camera for that, I just hit the screenshot button. Select all. Here we go. Because there's none of these I want to keep. Although it's kind of interesting, because like even the pictures that Zelda takes at the beginning of the game are visible, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I'm also deleting those. I'm not sure I actually want these. Not not those ones, there's other Zonai stuff.
it's it's not I've just been debating if I want to actually talk about this or not. It's not a bad thing. Like Okay, so slight spoiler time. I'm not gonna spoil anything like specific for you guys, but um which why I said slight spoiler. Um that was indeed the Master Sword. Which, you know, shouldn't really be a spoiler. Um, but where? where thing? I think I'm supposed to use a platform to get under that. Isn't this just water? Are you guys just like making steam? How is there that much? Whatever. It's not how water works, but give you guys a pass, I guess. Um, I was debating if I even want to get the Master Sword. Because it does... Oh, hey, here's the other pieces. Sword and Strong Cone Strike Bow, which is the same. I think these get upgraded over time or something. Going to... What was the other piece of shit one that I picked up? Oh yeah, the Boulder Hammer. I mean, this is going to break, like, really quick, so I may as well drop that. Okay, it's just regular. Yeah, I mean a spear and yeah, a sword. I could, yeah, I would take those. Um, I don't think the other ones had any kind of benefit to them. At least I didn't see anything. Also, I don't see anything I can use as a platform either. So I'm wondering if that actually is a thing. Well, it's closed. There's nothing... I mean, there is something there, but... I don't see a way in, so I think the only way is from the underside. Right? Yeah. Oh, nope, that wouldn't work. Oh, we need uh, the useless item. Right, hydrant. And I do have a couple, more than a couple, actually. You have to like. Okay, that should do it. Mm. The efficiency of Zona devices, okay. Pretty cool, I guess. Okay. Anyway, that was the main reason to come here is for the free Zonai equipment. Because every Blood Moon you can just come back and take all the free pieces on the ground. Which is really, really cool. Um, and the only 
downside here, really. Oh, I have to go through the laser grid. Well, so far we're doing good. So that's not really a great place to get outside, but... Do need to get... Oh, there's other fast travel points for that, okay. So we just need to turn there and go straight down, basically. Why am I getting all these cool pieces but like no pants? It's like, here's armor, here's a helm, here's all this other shit but no pants. Thank you. Is it right here? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I've been waiting for this. Thank you. Also, why'd you stop paying out? That's not cool. Four times. Is it because I've never shot him before? That can't be right. Like the statues lead the way, like follow where the statues are facing. Gotcha. I should have grabbed that first. These ones, whoops, you know what? Let's put the better armor back on. Uh, even though we look stupid, does that look less stupid? Yes, it does. Alright. Oh, Roblins want some? Bring it the F on. Uh, what should I use? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a lot easier than I expected. These guys are facing this way. Thereabouts. It's right fucking there, Link. Thank you. There's one more. Thank you. I know, we're over on time, folks. Uh, they're kind of all facing different ways. Oh, some of these are just facing the middle. So it's actually that wall. <gasps> Alright. Well, I think I'm still gonna check what's behind this one.
Is that my arrow that missed? So why can I grab there? Thanks. Game's been acting a little weird this recording session. Which yeah, I know is should have been over a while ago. Um Okay, so that's actually the right way, so maybe something's over here. That drops you down. That's there's stuff down there, obviously. Thank you. 
Trip. Okay. That would be the good one, but I want to see what the other one is. Mm, this is probably outside. No, this is the same part of the cave, okay. Again, I don't really care about the bubble frogs, so...
Okay. Not sure why the first time I pressed A didn't count. The sound effect happened and the rest of it did not happen. That was weird. Oh, this still goes to the same room. Okay. I'm gonna have to make more hammers, though. Kind of what I thought would happen. Cause some of these caves do go on for a while, and you need quite a few hammers. Um, but yeah, that was the main prize. So, and apparently. Also, could have just gone up there to get in there, which... I mean, you had to go down to get to the actual prize room, but still. Um, yeah. That is going to do it. You know what? Why even... There's no, there's no reason to do that. Um, okay, so we'll just go to the next cave and do that on the next episode. Because we are very much out of time. But, yeah. Anyway, um, what I was going to say earlier about the Master Sword thing. I'm not sure I even want to get the Master Sword because it does... Ooh, hey, there's Nadra. Uh, it does make certain aspects of the game, like, kinda too easy. Um, and I think it's required at some point. Like, I think you have to get the Master Sword before you beat the game. But it's kind, I believe, it's just kind of given to you. If I recall correctly. your deal, dude. <laughs> Nantana pastures, cows seem to be fresh milk, cows in the best Nantanos, hands on the acorns, forest out back, acorns oh. in my cheeks, I need at least three. Here's some acorns, dude. Hey. Okay. Squirreled away, huh? Huh, three acorns for some milk. That's cool. Oh, have I taken a picture? Because I know you need pictures of, like, animals and stuff, too. Sheep and cows and sheep and cows. Okay, we're good. Um, there's a little, like, kind of side quest, I guess, with, like, the... Uh, this particular farm. Something like that. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Because if I start... If I initiate the side quest... Whoops, I'm probably going to kind of get swept up in it. 
Um, so I'll just wait for another time. But I believe there's also some Evermeans in this forest up here. Which, dude was right, that's a lot of squirrels. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. Mm, yeah, I'll show you guys where the cave is, because I did say we are going to get the set in this episode. And even if I don't get the set, I'll show you guys where the cave is, so... Absolutely sure some of these are ever means. Or is this... Because I remember this place for a reason. I don't think the reason was... Oh, some of the beetles. There are some of the rare beetles here at a specific time of day, I think is what it is. There's Nadra. There's Nadra. Oh, Nadra, you're really coming down low. You gonna keep dipping so I can shoot a horn off here or something? I guess if I was to go up there, that... That's higher than it looks, isn't it? Why am I slipping? Is it raining now? <clears throat> Fuck it. Alright. You're not gonna get close enough. Although I could get a better picture. some ever means in here. Did I just, like, avoid them? I didn't mean to. It's fine. I, I know for a fact where there are a couple. Like, pretty good density of them, actually. Um, right above the cave. Okay. Mm, should be here. There it is. Well, not mountain cave, yep. Yeah. That's the place. Alright, well, folks, that's gonna do it for today. Um, thank you so much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I was hoping to make this a shorter episode, but didn't quite work out that way, so... Um, but yeah, next time. We'll do this next time, so. Man, that's so cool. Well, now it's raining, obviously. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, of course. Before we get going... A very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is the one and only Novellus Draconis, as well as Don Sabino. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you guys so much for checking out that join button down below, choosing to support the show a bit more directly. Greatly helps out and greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to be incredibly awesome and support the show a bit more directly like these amazing folks here, uh, check out that join button. Um, tiers start at three bucks a month. It's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so literally 25% of the time we have one going. And if you guys have missed some of the previous ones, a lot of them are actually still open, so you can vote on them retroactively. And that input will still be considered for future members' choice polls. So, um, I believe this one is coming out towards the end of February, so there actually is still time, if that is correct, to vote on this month's members' choice poll, because it started on February 22nd and is running until March 1st. 
show. If you guys want to do that, that's a way you guys can help uh, shape the content that gets made here. That one is to determine the series that will be following Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Um, it'll be another retro game, and some of them on this poll are real gems, and um, been wanting to do for a while. So, anyway, <clears throat> that is going to do it for this one, so thank you all for being here once again, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.